Welcome back to another Lightroom tutorial guys. So this is a pretty big transformation. So here we have the before. And then we've got the cropping and then the after is this one over on the left. So this image is by Manuela. So she actually was a student in the course. Her feed was a little bit broken and then she came into the course and she learned the why behind her adjustments, how the tools interact with each other, how to understand color and the curves especially. And then she really enjoyed all the guest editors as well. So pretty cool to go full circle with her and now have her on this very YouTube channel. So you can see her feed now has this very muted blue and warm uh, grade to it and that's what we have here so there's a lot of warmth there's blues still like the all the colors are desaturated but the blues still like they're still there but they've got this teal and they've got this warmth throughout the image it's really splitting the image into two colors blue and warmth or sometimes 70 percent blue like 30 percent warm but those are the two colors and then as for exposure it's definitely underexposed reasonably dark blacks and not much contrast so we're going to get into all those things i'll explain how to do those things how like the reason behind your adjustments and stuff like that Hi everybody, my name is Manuela and I wanted to give you my review about the Instagram Pro Editor course by Martin. I am a web designer for photographers and I am also a photo an adventure photographer uh, and I wanted to be more consistent with my style. I have used presets before, it's just it wasn't looking consistent and I wanted to learn more about the theory of color and how to get your own style without using presets. That was the reason why I bought the course. When I got into the course, it blew me away that Martin was teaching even way more than I even expected. And I understood finally how curves work, how to get a cohesive style and do it just by your own, not just with a preset. Color theory and then on top of that, the amazing lessons by so many teachers that they literally break apart their style and show you step by step how to get that same style in Lightroom. It was just like, yeah, this is the place for me. Martin course is unique because I feel is the only course out there that actually explains from a very logical point of view how color works. A lot of people in this industry, it's a very creative industry, so they obviously put it all to just the creativity, but I think behind Lightroom there is a lot of science that can be also taught to people who are not that creative. Um, I struggle with that myself. So I wanted to learn the ins and out why this point, why this point in the curve goes here and why it doesn't. More than just someone telling me, oh, just do an S curve. It's like, mm, no, I want to know why and how it works. After joining the course, I was able to understand color theory, how it works within Lightroom, how it works within the curves and all the many tools that you can use within Lightroom. And little later, I actually developed my own style. I'll try to put like a picture here of what my feed looks like so you can see how cohesive it looks now before it was just a mess with presets. And I'm pretty proud that I can get to this point just myself doing it on my own. I've developed now my own preset that I use myself and that is my style and that's what my Instagram looks so cohesive lately. lately. If you are on the fence of buying this course, I would definitely recommend it. Basically, because if you're taking photography seriously, you want to know how all these tools within Lightroom work, especially the ones regarding color. But more than that, just to have the insights of how other pro photographers do it, it's just just worth it for that only model module. Um, but yeah, I hope you do get to enjoy this course and you create your own style and you become amazing pro editors. Okay, so we will start off with upping the contrast here. As you can see, like the most obvious thing I see right now is like these waves here are very, very bright. So I'm gonna come to this curve. I'm gonna underexpose the entire entire image. You can already see our exposure gets 
way better now there's still obviously a lot of things to do keep the shadows kind of high now this part of the curve is going to be really important for the the shine and mac to if you want a shine to your blacks you want to do this see how everything gets quite shiny but we're not going to do it that much we're going to do something like this so it's only subtle like that shine you get in the darkest part of the image it's like a little fade it's a little fade but like i wouldn't describe it as a fade it's more of a shine or matte look so shadows just to see a little bit more and then the highlights for a bit more brightness to the entire image and then we'll go dehaze so dehaze really deepens your entire image uh, it's hard to explain but we're gonna roll with the haze up we'll bring down the exposure it looks a lot like bringing down the highlights and shadows and then clarity for crisp you can see that adds a little bit of contrast as well then we're pretty much on to our tone so very quickly i like let's just take down the blues over here um you can see that there are two on the purple side so we're gonna just real quick adjustments and do things like this and then desaturate them some more and then there's obviously like too much saturation to the oranges and stuff so let's just whack these down real quick yellows not many in this image but bring them down uh greens aquas there's a few aquas bring them down as well um deepen the tones with luminance so this. and the yellows not many yellows Except for the blues, keep the blues where they're at. Bit more saturation, bit more. Um, and then up here, we're just trying to get our tones right. So greens, there's not many greens. Um, let's bring the blues back. And then for aquas, maybe this way now we really need that warmth throughout the image as you can see we look very blue we could desaturate our blues and we we get pretty close but then our blues aren't there like the blues sort of just disappear so i'm just going to come in here and just move a little bit of blue or remove a little bit of blue i mean so that's going to add in a yellow warmth to the whole image and now we've got this like little warmth to the so now we've got that little bit of warmth throughout the whole image now I'll come up here and I'll just drop saturation of everything bit of vibrance though I think uh, our skin tone could be like more reddish and less less um, yellow so we'll go oranges to the left and the reds can be a bit more orange aquas go a bit more this way we look a little too like teal and then just a little bit of sharpening so i'm going to drop it down to about 20 come back to this curve uh, i just want the middle of the image to have more brightness like this a little bit more brightness here touch more like we're a little bit too low here so our shade of blue is a little too warm so maybe we just come back in here and take a little bit of that yellow we added in out yeah something like that pretty close there um so you only want a little bit of warmth or yellow coming in uh, there's maybe a bit too much in the highlights here so you see how much yellow we're getting in the whites so i might move this point add it more to the mids just a little bit and it goes a really long way yeah um, and then as for the cropping reset you can see we punch in just to fill the frame i think i think it's a much better composition dark blacks underexposed got that um, good grading going on of the warmth and the blue um yeah and that's all this edit needs so this is manuela she was a student in the course she, her main frustrations was not knowing the why behind the adjustments the science of lightroom she said she had enrolled in a few other courses and they just sort of told her to push tools and and they would literally say and see what you like and none of them went 
in depth into the why behind your adjustments and the science and the color like my course the color and editing mastery course which really teaches you the in-depth science of lightroom color why you move your adjustments and then on top of that you get the raw image preset from over a hundred professional photographers and we break down their edits and we go over why they are doing uh, their adjustments and the keys to creating that consistent feed and all the rules and all the key things you need to know to get really really great edits and it's a forever growing list of talented guest editors the most recent guest editor a seller i think it was really amazing wedding edits okay and that's it for this one comment who you want to see on this channel i look at all the comments and then i go reach out to these photographers to ask to be on this youtube channel do that for me enroll in the free training so to learn the color and the curves and then make sure you're on my email list so you get emails of free presets and free tips and trainings for you over there and i will catch you in the next one so what if you got the raw image from over a hundred pro photographers the preset and the lesson on how they edit their images so you could follow along step by step so click the link and you'll find more information on how to join the number one editing course designed to give you the exact style you're trying to achieve and to get that style you've always wanted from one of your favorite photographers so click that link and i'll see you over there and we'll work on getting you to your perfect style